Welcome to Seabulls Outdoors. Today I'm out in the North Shore trying to get my friend onto his first native Australian bass. Stick around. You might enjoy. You may not. I don't know. The master at work. The um, master that, that forgets his own rod or brings half of one rod and half of another. <laughs> what the hell? Oh no, how did that happen? Maybe that's why our casting sucked yesterday. It's got a little loop, maybe when we retied. I nearly nailed myself, that's okay, I'm used to it. Oh, what a cast. I mean, so this, this when, you, when you twitch it, it, it dies, but then it's like neutrally buoyant, so it just sits. Yeah, so you kind of get to choose how twice. deep you leave it. Yeah, but as soon as you twitch it more, it dies deeper again. Oh, that's mm, it's kind of annoying if you're like, I want it to float up a bit and not get stuck on a snag. Yeah, it might be easy. What, the bib actually does a surprisingly good job of, what, of keeping it down so it bumps into a snag and yeah. it walks over. Okay, here we go. That was terrible. That was not a good cast. Okay, all right. Take two. Oh. Was that good enough? I don't know. Oh, straight on the snag. How good is that? Oh, got him back, yes. Do you need a net? Okay, where am I? Okay, uh, bring it towards me. Yes! Uh, you're gonna need to manage that. Yes! <laughs> Man, that's sick! Oh. When full action rounds, I got the measurement as well in the bag. Uh, I really didn't think we'd get one. That is side. massive. Look at that. What a beauty. That's sick. All right, let's give him a measure. He is 35. 35, whoa. That's unreal. Man, such, an, such a weird spot. That was so difficult to land. Uh, uh, where's your phone? In my pocket. <laughs> That's what we set out to get. And that is what we got. Do you press it or you drag it? Man, sick catch. That was like, that's the, that's a really big bass. Let's see if I can get my lure back or we snagged again. Oh. Sweet, well that was the target, get one. So. Well we've done it found one. Lose yourself in the bass fishing is what he wanted to call it. But then the producer said maybe we could do music and he was like okay I guess so whatever. Well I think and yesterday I was not that keen to fish this area yeah. because it would be really difficult to actually land anything but I think with two of us it's achievable. I don't know. I don't know if it would have been achievable without the net. So really, like that's a dual catch, is how I'm taking it. I, mean, I just want to catch a native bass. Uh, I, I have no expectations of getting a decent one. Oh my god! I found the eel. Yes, got ourselves a lure. 
Not sharp anymore though. On. Ah, on the Alec Express crankbait. But no one is here to share the wonderful experience with me. Oh, this is a little cute. Shut up. <laughs> Just gotta make sure I don't end up with a treble in me. You want five? Yes, please. Yeah. All right, quite a bit of uh, bush bashing. Eventually onto a nice little bass, probably about 25 centimeters on an AliExpress crankbait. There we go, is that in focus? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, deal with him first. There we there go. There we go, that's it. That's the little fella. Three dollars. We'll put you back in the pool you came from, just because I'm not sure you'll survive any other spot. And uh, we shall let you go. Oh yeah, you want to go like immediately. Great. Thanks for sticking around. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Might have given you a couple of ideas. Let me know what you think in the comments. Catch you on the next one.